dating may be a strange topic for devotion, but it's not. It was Solomon in the Song of Solomon who said, you captured my eye, you hold me hostage, you have the treasure of my heart. Dating is so important for married people. We'll start there. Dating is absolutely essential. It's necessary. Just like your car requires an oil change, new windshield wipers, new tires, and even fuel, gas to make it run. Any relationship that is energized and enjoyable requires dating. Dating is intentional, romantic, thoughtful time spent together. You need to spend special time with your significant other. It won't always be a big theme park or Paris or traveling on a cruise, but you have to find some way to get away and have a date. Let me give you four truths, just four truths regarding dating for those who are married. Number one, dating should be regular. Well, what is that? There should be a plan in place to make sure you have a time, a set time, maybe three times a month, maybe four times a month. If you want energy and excitement and an, an enjoyable relationship, it requires regular dating. Every other important thing is on the calendar. So should your relationship. Your date needs to be on the calendar. Not only that, if you don't have it on the calendar, you may not be able to get all the necessary components to dating, maybe babysitters, maybe reservations, or maybe just planning when the moon is going to be its brightest. I don't know. You got to put it on the calendar. It should be regular. It should be recreational. That means you should be having fun. You should be doing something that you really enjoy doing. Now, here it is. While the schedule should be regular, the date doesn't have to be regular. It should not be the same thing all the time, but it should be something that either both of you enjoy or one of you have, have chosen, and there should be some rotation in who's choosing what. So it might be bowling, it might be the movies, it might be a basketball game, it might be hiking, it might be a late night walk or a late night talk with coffee in a book at a bookstore. You have to do something to really rejuvenate, to really put a little spice and fun back into the relationship. You've got to plan and think ahead and be creative. It doesn't have to cost a ton, but it should be thoughtful. It should be special. It should be creative. You can do it. Dating should be recreational. Think of some fun things you did before you got married and maybe it'll come to mind. Or do some research, but whatever it takes, Make sure your date time with your spouse is recreational. Not only should it be recreational, but it should be a time to reconnect. This is important because it means that you have to think of something that requires some activity or communication where you're expressing yourself. Now here's the misnomer. We assume that we don't need to reconnect because we're always together, but that's not true. You have to reconnect and you do that by disconnecting from your work, disconnecting from your children, disconnecting from other activities and focusing on each other for some set amount of time. You're not trying to solve problems here. You're trying to express love and show how important your spouse is to you. That's reconnecting. And then this is the last one. And this is so important. Part of the reason you're reconnecting is because you're recommitting. You're saying that I've committed myself to you and you've committed yourself to me and we made a great decision. You're expressing with your actions how important each other is to you. You're saying you matter to me most. I could be resting. I could be working. There are things that need to be done, but instead we're setting aside time to prioritize each other. So make sure you take some time to date your spouse. I know singles do it. I know people who are trying to find someone do it, but those who want to keep the one they found should date and make sure that you date on a regular basis. Make sure that you date in a recreational way. Make sure that you date to reconnect. Make sure that you date expressing that you are recommitting to the one that you said I do to. Hey, that's dating for marriage. There's so many things you can do. Try something. Try something new. Try sushi. I don't know. Have a ball. Be blessed. I'm Pastor Hamilton.